Hey guys, so today I am filming my part two of my foundation collection series. It is my drugstore foundations, which I have so many of. Well, not that many, but I have a lot. Um, I don't have all of the ones that I've ever used like throughout my entire life, but I do have quite a few that I've used in the past few, in the past like two years. So I'm just gonna be sharing those with you today. Um, like I said in my high-end foundation, I'm not going to be going into too, too much detail with these products because it is just a collection series. It's not reviews, but if you guys want to see any separate reviews or, you know, me wearing the foundation, I will definitely do those for you guys. I will even do the ones that I hate so you guys know how dedicated I am. So, let's get started. I'm going to start off with my powder foundation. It's the Physician's Formula Talc Free mineral wear mineral loose powder i actually like this um my thing with powder foundations is i could never find one that's pale enough um and then when i blend it out it does all powder foundations that i've ever tried do run a little bit orange on me so that kind of sucks but this has really good coverage i don't really care for the packaging too much because if you want to travel with this there's no way that this stays on it kind of just pops off like even in my makeup drawer it like pops off and then this doesn't really like latch so you can literally just pull it up oh don't oh, lord so the packaging on this is not the best i don't wear powder foundations a lot but this one is a good one random order it is because i can't decide so my first foundation i'm going to start off with is one that i was surprised a few years ago that i was drawn to because it is a lumi foundation it's actually the true match lumi healthy luminous makeup and I was surprised that I was drawn to this because a few years ago, I had more oily skin than I do now. I remember wearing this to school in the winter. And in the winter, this foundation was bomb because in the winter, like your skin is more dry anyway. So I got a little bit shiny when I wore this, but nothing too bad at all. I actually really love this foundation. I haven't worn it in so long, so I, I can't really say much more than that. But I do love this foundation, even though I am more oily than I am dry. So I think dry skin people would love this and I think if you're super oily I wouldn't really recommend this but if you're combination oily I would recommend this for winter or if you want like a glowy summer look I would definitely wear that. I'm also going to be filming a glowy summer look for you guys. I filmed it the other day and I just had to take all my makeup off because it just I didn't like it. I just wasn't feeling makeup that day and I just... I um, the next foundation is a foundation you hear about all the time, but it is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. I wanted to show you this empty. Well, not really empty, but I mean, I'm not going to use that. Gross. I'm on my third or fourth bottle. This is the new packaging. I don't know if they changed the formula in this. I mean, everything looks the same. SPF 20. Um, everything pretty much looks the same, even on the back. So I don't know if they changed the formula, but... I love this foundation so much. It covers so well. It's actually the foundation I have on today. It covers so well. It keeps me matte throughout the day and it actually stays on. Um, and it claims to be a primer, a concealer, and a foundation all in one. Um, I always use a primer now, but I can say that if I accidentally skipped primer with any foundation, I would be comfortable doing that with this because this does keep me matte. All day and it stays on all day and I just love this foundation if you have oily skin I definitely recommend this they have a luminous one I've never tried it but um, this foundation is awesome if you don't have this foundation I definitely recommend picking it up the color match is pretty darn close to my skin tone it's a little bit pink but a little bit nothing too too bad the next one I'm gonna talk about is I'm not really gonna talk too much about this because it's the wet n wild photo focus foundation I have a whole separate re review I cannot talk today. I have a whole separate review on my channel on this, so I'm going to link that down below. I love this foundation though, but go check out the review because I talk all about this foundation in that review. The next one is the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Wear. This was holy grail status for a while because of the fact that this literally stays on your face all day. I'm talking about it doesn't break up. This, I have to say, even the... um. I have the combination oily one, obviously, but 
it does get a little bit oily but you know how like when you get oily with some foundations it starts to break up and look weird this doesn't it just kind of gets oily and you could blot it off and it looks fine this foundation literally just stays on your face all day it is pretty this is the closest to full coverage foundation i have ever used to so um that's pretty awesome but i went to sleep with this foundation on one time i remember and i woke up my foundation was still on and that actually happened with the Outlast too. When I like took the makeup wipe and I took off my makeup, you could still see the foundation. Some foundations just wear off and they don't stay on your face, but um, this one does. And this one is also, it doesn't, I don't think it claims to be waterproof, but um, I also went in the pool with this and my face got wet and it didn't come off in any area. If you're looking for a foundation to use in the summer, you want to stay on all day, throughout the heat, throughout everything, please buy this. Um, I don't know if they changed, they had to have changed the formula because when I wore this a few years ago, it wasn't the lightest feeling foundation. It kind of felt heavy a little bit and you guys know that I hate the feeling of foundation on my skin. So they had to have changed the formula because when I put it on again, it did not feel as heavy and I was so happy because I was like, yes, like I can wear this now and I don't, you know, feel it on my skin. And so this foundation is freaking awesome. I'm probably going to do a, a review on this as well, but let me, let me know if you guys want to see that. That foundation is awesome. The next one I'm going to talk about is... This is a BB cream. I don't really care for BB creams, but I got this because of the fact that it had 2% um, salicylic acid in it. It's the Maybelline Pure BB Cream, um, a light sheer tint. This is a very light coverage. Like, if you have a lot to cover, don't even think about getting this. Um, very liquidy. Like you can hear that. It's so liquidy. Um, I used to wear this on days where I didn't really want a lot of coverage, but I wanted to kind of just like fill in my pores. Or I had like a pimple, like I, I would put this on because it does have the acne treatment in it. I think that's a really cool thing to have, especially in a foundation. Oh my god, now that I'm thinking about that, another foundation that I had at one point was the Neutrogena, the acne treatment um, foundation. I don't have that right now, like physically, but I did wear that for a while. I actually love that foundation. I actually, I actually might pick that up now, um, now that I'm thinking about it. But my skin is so much better, like you can see, like I don't really have any active breakouts um it's more or less just scarring on certain parts of my face especially my cheeks but i really like this on days where i just want a really really light coverage and i don't really care but um if you like bb creams i would definitely check this out especially if you have acne prone skin they also have a normal one too oh god okay this one is the rimmel stay matte it's lightweight shine control this foundation um i used to love i really did but um, now I just don't think that I could wear it as often as I used to. I used to wear this like every day. This is my second bottle of it. The formula is really, really thick. It's like a mousse. You can see that it's very thick and it did keep me matte throughout the day, but it almost kept me like a little too matte. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it kind of looked drying after a while on your skin and you know, I don't know if you have really oily skin, I think you would love this but I wouldn't be able to love it as much as I used to. Definitely is good at controlling shine, but because it is a thick consistency, it really didn't feel lightweight. And like I said, I just don't like that feeling of having foundation on your skin. So yeah, but if you have really oily skin, I would check that out. If you have oily skin, you're gonna love this next product too. If you've ever worn it or you've heard about it, it's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Demi Matte Finish Air Light Oil Free. Um, I don't know why they even say demi matte finish. This is a straight up matte finish. The color on it is pretty spot on though. This is the, oh no, this is the third foundation that I got that matches me. The other one is the Went Wild. So third, second foundation that matches me, third foundation that ever matched me. This is great. If you have oily skin, you're going to love this product. I think if I use a mattifying primer, it looked a little bit too matte. So keep that in mind, but it's very air light, very easy to blend, looks great on your skin. So check this out if you have oily skin and if you have dry skin, check this one out. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Now I got this because there was a point in my life where I wanted to look like I was more into like the glowy looks even though I had oily skin. So I was like, you know what, let me pick this up. I actually really like it. The shade's a little bit too pink for me. It blurs out like your pores, like in your skin, like it looks fantastic. Um, 
doesn't really wear for that long. The matte one definitely wears a lot longer than this one does. This one kind of breaks up weird throughout the day. Maybe it would look, it would work better if you have dry skin, but I, you know, maybe the glow of this mixed with my oils coming through, maybe it just didn't wear good on me. But um, if you have dry skin, definitely pick this up because I have a feeling you're gonna like it. Okay, the next product I'm gonna talk about real briefly because I freaking hated it. This was the worst foundation that I've ever tried in my entire life. And it is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. What? How are you matte and hydrating at the same time? Okay, that's just wrong. Like, no. Be one or the other, people. You No. This was the worst foundation I ever tried. I saw a few reviews on this and I was like, hmm, looks good. Let me pick it up. I wore this to work for a four-hour shift. And when I got out of work, my, my face was an oil slick. I had never been so oily in my entire life. It's so thick and just disgusting. It ran very orange on my skin. Actually, the first foundation that I ever used is the Maybelline Dream Matte, or the Dream Mousse. I don't know if it's a matte mousse or just the Dream Mousse foundation. I'm actually going to be doing that video um, when I do how I did my makeup in high school. I'm going to be bringing that foundation back because I hate that foundation now. But this was just disgusting. Like, it, it, no. Don't, don't buy it. Don't buy it. And if you like that foundation, let me know because I didn't. Mm -mm. I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. For me personally, what happened with me, I wouldn't recommend it. The next foundation is the CoverGirl Clean Oil Control Foundation. They have a few of these. They have one for oil control, sensitive skin, dry skin. Um, obviously, I got the one for oil control. This is another foundation that actually matches me pretty close to perfect. Um, it's very easy to blend. It looks good on your skin. This isn't like a, oh my god, this foundation looks amazing, but it doesn't look bad either. So, I don't know. I don't really have a lot to say about this foundation, just because it's kind of just like an average foundation in my opinion. Nothing really sticks out about it, either good or bad, but I like it, you know, I wear it, you know, for like an everyday look and everything like that. Like I said, if you guys want a more in-depth review on any one of these, I will go in-depth for you guys. The next foundation I also have a review on, and it's the NYX Total Drop Foundation. I still am in love with this foundation. It's so matte. It's so pigmented, um, which I'm glad it's very pigmented because it only comes with 0.43 fluid ounces. That's really not a lot of foundation because most foundations are one fluid ounce. If you have oily skin, you're going to love this. And if you want full coverage, you're also going to love this. I will have the review on this listed down below as well, so check that out. And last but not least is one of my all-time favorite drugstore foundations. Um, it is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I think I had a third bottle somewhere. I just wanted to show you guys that I actually, you know, when I say I like a product, I really do mean it. I'm not just saying that. It isn't sponsored or anything. These are my honest thoughts. I love this foundation so much. It it keeps you matte throughout the day. It looks, but it looks natural, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't look too, too matte. Like, the, um... The infallible pro matte it doesn't look as matte as this it's such a thin formula it's so thin it's not thick it's not heavy it's not whatever it barely feels like you have foundation on your skin when you put this on I do kind of get a little bit oily throughout the day with this but it's nothing too big it doesn't break up too bad it doesn't look cakey or heavy it, it just this foundation is amazing i will be doing a whole separate review on my channel on this foundation because I love it so much and after I got the Wet n Wild one in my videos I've kind of only been showing you the Wet n Wild and the CoverGirl um so I'm gonna try to use this foundation more in videos because it's so amazing but I really like this for an everyday look like when I don't want because it's not the highest coverage foundation you could make it um full coverage you could build it up but I personally don't like to I don't know I just like it for like an everyday um kind of look but this foundation is great for every day full glam whatever so i will be doing a whole separate review on this and that is it for the drugstore foundations that i have physically um i hope you guys enjoyed watching this i will be doing more makeup collection videos i'm gonna do a lipstick one i'm gonna do an eyeshadow one um so stay tuned for that and don't forget to like comment and, and subscribe let me know if there's anything else you want to see, and I will be happy to do that for you. 
Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.